Andrew Clay is a guy that came out here about 10 years ago. And he broke his ass. You know what I mean? Broke his ass, he believed in himself, became the hottest comic in the world. And anybody that doesn't like it could wipe their ass with whatever they say about me. say this because I always believe that you could take yourself and put yourself <laughs> no, I get choked up because uh, you put yourself where you want to be and uh, you want no I'm You put yourself where you want to be, and I broke my ass for 12 years. And tomorrow when that movie opens, the country's going to see it, and they're going to laugh their asses off. And that's what it's about. So believe in yourself, all right? If you want to be, if you want to be a doctor, you want to be an attorney, you want to be a comic, you believe in yourself, and you don't listen to nobody. That's the way it is. Let me tell you who Nice Clay is. <laughs> Let me tell you who Nice Clay is. Nice Clay is a man that came out here and worked his ass off for 10 years. Nice is a man who took Fonzie's jackets, Stallone's attitude, and Kennison's jokes and had to watch his own movie. That's who Nice is. Oh. Worst way of promoting a comedy movie I've ever seen. I was watching the show. I go, what, the, what is the guy crying about? Did he watch his own film? What's he crying about? <laughs> please, please watch my movie. I'm the best. I'm the king. Please watch it. <laughs> And I was doing my signature bit, the bit I closed with, was a bit about uh, if you were an asshole and you knew it and how cool it would be to just say, I'm an asshole and just let yourself have that life, that your life would be better. Like you're driving, mm -hmm. you go, hey, should I cut that guy off? Yeah, I'm an asshole. Why not? <laughs> you know, uh, park in a handicapped space. Only an asshole would do that. Oh, uh -oh. Uh, fuck, fuck it. I'll do it. I'm an asshole. That's me. And they, uh, you said they should have like... A picture of an asshole instead of a wheelchair and just make those the asshole spaces and the whole bit. Anyway, so one night um, doing a show at a place called Played Against Sam's in Boston and Dennis is the host of the show. He was a huge star in Boston at the time and uh, on the comedy circuit. And then that night he went on after me uh, after I'd done the asshole bit and like went, that's really funny and like <clears throat> remarked on it. And expounded on it, like yeah, like and that, like I'll do this because I'm an asshole, and I'll do that because I'm an asshole. Like he just started. He actually riff started riffing on riffing it. on my bit, but acknowledging that he just watched me do it. Which, yeah, which is I think is okay. And oh, then boy. like um, I don't know, a month later or something, I'm downstairs at Sam's. I just come walk in and he's doing. <laughs> he's just doing the bit. Just started. He just started doing it. Watching Key and Peele do my show for the last five fucking years. <laughs> Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Here's some advice. Just don't quit your show. <laughs> John Stewart quit. Now I know it hurt. Remember, The Daily Show was always fun, but it used to not be popular. And then remember that all of a sudden everyone just started watching it. I forgot what happened. Oh, I remember. I was there leaving. Anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. He appealed was fine. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh. No, that's an adequate replacement. Surprised they didn't 
掉一下。<笑>